。这个汤呀，这个这个，小李你们嘛，这个是说。Hi, I'm Alex. I'm a data science grad student at Tsinghua University. Tsinghua University is considered the leading university in China for AI research, which is my research area while I'm here. And it's also a very important university politically. Xi Jinping studied here, of course, the current leader of China, and many of China's future leaders will be current students here. So it's a very interesting life experience to be here. And today I wanted to share that experience with you guys and take you through a day in my life as a grad student. I've come to the economics building this morning to get some work done. Uh, it's not my department. I actually have an office in the future technology building, which you would think is all like futuristic and really nice but it's not the economics building is way nicer so <laughs> I prefer to come here to to get some work done these seats are definitely my favorite seats in the building the view is so nice from up here really like big working space I'll try to show you guys the view I can just come down here you can see like some mountains in the distance, see all over the campus. Yeah, really good working environment. The main work that I'm doing right now, I've finished my classes actually, so I'm just working on my thesis. I've got to do my thesis defense pretty soon. So I have meetings with my advisor and, and sort of refining it. Uh, my thesis is I'm building an AI model to predict future pandemics. So I want to prevent anything like COVID-19 ever happening again. Um, my model, it reads social media posts. So people are saying like, oh, I feel sick or I'm really tired. I've been indoors all day. Uh, they might not have taken a test and reported that to official statistics. Uh, but, you know, my model can work out that actually they do have some infection and, and it has a much more accurate understanding of the true infection rate and so using that it can make very good uh, pandemic forecasts. The other main thing I'm doing with my time is building a startup. So I'm doing this with Viola, my co-founder. What are we building? What's our startup? Mobody. Mobody. Yeah, so we're building an AI language tutor. If you want to improve your language skills, you want some app that's much more useful than Duolingo, then check it out. Yep. Right now I'm working on a feature where you can give a link to a YouTube video in whatever language you're studying and our AI will analyze it, pull out all the key vocabulary and then teach you a bunch of lessons, how to speak all the words in this video and understand it. Uh, there's some, some bugs that I got to fix right now. It says there's not a URL, but there is a URL. So I got to work out what's going on there. But uh, yeah, that's just coding sometimes. Right now we're gonna go grab lunch. This is one of the. <laughs> right now we're gonna go grab lunch. This is one of the best things about Tsinghua. The canteens are amazing. There's so much choice. There's like, I don't know, ten canteens or something. Yeah, it's great. We're gonna go check out the Jingyuan, woman's very the canteen. Yeah, so we'll show you that. We both went for some chicken rice and then I'm trying to bulk up, get massive, so we got some extra extra chicken breast, we got some sigua. Yeah, lots of good stuff, should be good. <laughs> this much food, all of it combined, three US dollars. Super good.
This isn't quite what I do on a normal day, but I had to show you guys the ancient part of the campus. Everywhere here is super beautiful. Uh, there's a little temple that we can go find. So yeah, I gotta show you guys this. It's a little bit tough to see because of the trees, but point there, just there. That's the temple that we're aiming for. I gotta find some way to cross this river. There's a path somewhere, but yeah, I gotta find it. It's like 35 degrees today, so yeah, bit hot, bit sweaty, but that's all right. All the little duckies, some uh, goose or something. Oh, black swan, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Wow, this black swan just uh, having a good time. All right, we did it. I found the entrance. We can see the temple just up there. Let's check it out. Nice view from up here, see lots of the treetops, some of the buildings, got a big swimming pool down there. Yeah, good, good old view. Now we're at the old gate. Uh, this area is a bit manic because it's a weekend and it's like the main tourist spot. Everyone wants to get a photo here, but this was the original entrance to Qinghua. This building, I want to point it out because I had a really interesting class here. It was uh, Democracy in China, which was, I had like two extra credits I could choose from a different department. Uh, and I just thought that sounded so interesting. One thing I, I really appreciated about it was when we we're in the classroom, it was all very intellectually honest. You know, uh, politics can be difficult to talk about in China, you know, but in the classroom, it was a very realistic discussion and, and we all respected each other's opinions and yeah it was just very very interesting uh, life experience I think <laughs> to do that. Okay hey, we'll head back now very sweaty and uh, got to get back to work. See you there. <laughs> We're about to head off to dinner, but just thought the, the mountains look very cool in this lighting. Quick little, little look at the view. A tragic sight is when there's no shared bikes so we got to walk. We're gonna go to, I don't actually know what this uh, canteen is called. Uh, the one by International Students. Jilan Yuan. Jilan Yuan. Yeah, it's, uh, there's this Western chicken they have that I've never seen in the West, but it tastes great. So we, we like eating that. I'm gonna go, go have some of that. Western chicken. Mm -hmm. Gonna hit the gym now. I uh, usually try and go like four to five times a week. Um, naturally, my body is like a skinny maths nerd, but if I go to the gym enough, I'll be a slightly less skinny maths nerd, so that's the goal. When I arrived, they literally just finished building this brand new, brand new gym. So I got very lucky there. Let's check it out. I always get these chocolate soy milks as my post-gym snack, get some protein. 
Uh, gonna head back to Econ Building for one final work sesh. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna head home now. We're getting pretty sleepy. Um, we usually go home about nine, but I was really just trying to fix some bugs. Uh, sometimes the code gets annoying and we, we stay a bit later. But uh, yeah, I mean, nine's a good time because you can head home, watch some, some Netflix and still have time for eight hours sleep. Today it's a little bit later. Sometimes that's how it is with coding. Um, but yeah, looking forward to getting back. And that's, that's my day as a grad student at Tsinghua. So hope hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.